everybody. Today I'm reviewing Obagi Medical Facial Moisturizer. Um, I ended up giving this face, facial moisturizer 3.5 out of 5 stars. So I do think it's better than your average moisturizer. However, there's a few things holding me back from ranking it higher. Um, it's not my absolute holy grail of moisturizers, but I do like it and I would definitely use it again. Um, so to start off with, this one's actually pretty expensive. The whole Obagi line is very expensive. This is $50 for this 1.7 ounce bottle. Um, that works out to $29.50 per ounce, which is definitely a pretty penny. Um, I do think this one's worth it in some ways though. Um, so to start off with, the texture of this is a thick cream. It's kind of yellowy, creamy feeling. I'll see if I could show you guys that. Um, and it's not going anywhere, so it definitely comes out thicker um, than a lot of moisturizers. However, I'm kind of surprised with how lightweight it is once I um, blend it in and apply it to my skin. Um, it it's, ends up being a lot more lightweight than I expected, but it still feels kind of waxy on my skin, especially on my cheeks. I wouldn't say it's oily, but it's waxy. So it does feel, it's not heavy, it's kind of a weird feeling. It, I, I know it's lightweight because it soaks into my skin pretty quickly, but it's still, I can definitely tell I've applied a moisturizer even when it's dry. Um, applying it is really easy though. Um, you just squirt it out of this, the um, pump like I just showed you. And that much I pumped out, just one pump, like did it was perfect amount for my entire face and even neck. So you really don't need a lot of this. A lot, um, this one goes, a little bit of it goes a long way. The pump is great. I like that you don't have to dip your fingers into a jar. Uh, the drying time. So it soaks, like I mentioned, it soaks into your skin really fast, but I could still tell that I had applied a moisturizer. It still had a bit of that waxy feeling. It wasn't completely dry, but it didn't feel oily, which was good. Um, as far as the smell goes, this one has no scent. So I was a little disappointed because I like having something refreshing smelling on my skin, um, maybe like essential oils or spa-like. But for those of you who look for a moisturizer with no scent, which I know there's a lot of you out there, this one has no scent and scent, it's scent free. So you'll, you'll like that and the results. So short, my short term results, um, after it soaked in, my skin felt really, really soft. It wasn't oily, um, which is something I definitely worry about with my face lotions because my skin is oily to begin with. Um, what, but like I mentioned, the one thing I didn't like is it left a waxy feeling, especially on my cheeks and my nose. Um, but even with the waxiness, I didn't really have a problem applying my makeup on top of it. But um, it would probably honestly work better as just a night cream. I think there are lighter creams to wear during the day. Um, overall, I thought my skin felt really um, soft and hydrated, which is definitely something I'm looking for in my moisturizer. This one does a great job hydrating. Um, as far as longer term results, I noticed that my skin looked and felt a little bit firmer, which is awesome. Um, and it definitely looked healthier, maybe a little bit more glowy, but it didn't help my fine lines or wrinkles at all. So I wouldn't say this one is good for anti-aging, but it is good for hydrating, is good for moisturizing. If you have any dry areas or if you have chronically dry skin, this one definitely gets the job done in the moisturizing department. Um, overall, well, I think this is a good product. I'm not completely sold on the results or completely in love with it, but for dry skin, I think this one does work really well. Um, as far as the, the ingredients, it has some really good things in it. Um, it's, it's designed for sensitive skin. Um, so it has mango seed butter, which has fatty acids in it that are really essential for moisturizing. It also contains soybean, um, which contains phytoestrogens, which help um, your skin rejuvenate over time. And it has vitamin E, which are all really good things for your skin, and I like seeing them in there. Um, the one thing, another thing I really don't like is they don't offer a money-back guarantee. Um, you can buy it, so where you buy it, you could buy it through like dermatologist office and a lot of places online. A lot of places that sell it online don't offer a guarantee though, so that sucks. Oops. So you'll have to really like this product in order to buy it because um, you can't really return it most places. If you do find somewhere that has a guarantee, let me know though. And I definitely feel safer, you know, if you guys bought it through someone that has a guarantee. If you don't like it, you could just send it back. Um, and it's very expensive, so make sure you like it before buying it. But overall, I think it's better than your average moisturizer, but like I mentioned, not my holy grail. Um, so I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. 
Um, I want to know if you guys use this one or if you've tried it. Comment below with what your experience was with it. Or if you have a moisturizer you'd like me to test out, you could always comment that as well. And for more information on this moisturizer and many others, please visit us online at moisturizers.com and on Facebook and Twitter.